Dear Grade 2 Students, This is the chapter about picture and bar graphs, and in this lesson, we will be learning about bar graphs. Now, in the previous lesson, we learned about horizontal graphs. Today, we will be learning that sometimes bar graphs can have vertical bars. Look at this picture. Notice how the bars look. They look like they are standing up, so that's what I call vertical. This means the numbers I used to count will be on the side, not down. Now, if I want to read this number, I am going to extend the line to the side and check the number. Let's see this example. I asked my friends about their favorite food, and I got this bar graph as an answer. Some people said they liked apples, some people said bananas, some strawberry, and some orange. Now I'm going to extend the line to the side, and I'll find that apples are liked by three people. I'll also extend the line from the banana bar to the numbers, and I'll find that four people like bananas. I'll extend the line from the strawberry bar, and I'll find that six like it. And I'll also extend the line from the orange bar, I find that two people like oranges. Now, this time, let's draw ourselves. I asked my friends about their favorite colors. These are the answers that I got. Some people said red, some people said blue, and some people said yellow. Here's my empty bar graphs. First, I'm going to label red, blue, and yellow. Now, I have five people who like red, so I will extend the line from the numbers to the place where I should be drawing the bar. Seven people like blue, so I will do the same and I will color until I reach number seven. And three people like yellow, so I will extend the line from number three to the part where I need to color yellow. I will color until three. Thank you for attending this lesson.